All right, hey everybody, welcome back to Your Next Cast. Thank you so much for checking out another episode. Today, I wanna share with you something that can help solve a problem that I know we've all had as fishermen or fisher ladies. Like, you have poles, you need somewhere to put them. Sometimes you lay them against the wall, sometimes you put them in the back of your truck, sometimes you lay them on your workbench, whatever the case may be. If you're like me, you've probably broken an eye or a pole from time to time. So, thanks to the Placino company, uh, we have a Placino fishing rod rack um, or organizer, if you will, that they were sending, that they sent me to actually review. So what I'm going to do is show you what it looks like and actually have my good friend Josh uh, put it up on his wall in his garage. He's a subscriber, him and his son. So I wanted to share this gift with them as well and let you see firsthand how easy and quickly you can put this thing up and have a better organization for your rods and reels. So here we go. All right. So this is just one of them. Uh, it is not that big. These are actually $20 uh, on their website. And that's what it looks like right there. You can actually put these up so that you could get more than one so that you can put your rods horizontally or vertically, depending on what you want to do. Since we have one, we're just going to have the rods go vertically. So we're just going to put it on the wall uh, just like that. Pretty straightforward. It looks very sturdy. So we're going to open this up and uh, whoops, get our screws right there and then that's what it looks like so it looks like it's gonna hold yeah I saw on this it holds nine so I was pretty amazed that something like this holds nine but as you'll see um, on their website the thing about it is you have the screws if you can see uh, up close on that you're gonna put those in very easily but these are really sturdy there's a rubber grip right here that actually will hold the rods in place and you can put them at different lens while we get ready to put this up i'm gonna show you what their website looks like real quick there's also a link below in the script in the description that you can click on to get one of these so as you can see it's not very big you can get multiple of these um they're 20 bucks and they seem to be pretty durable so let's see what it actually does so i'm gonna just show you real quick um what jo josh is doing right now just marking the holes which is a normal process you do when you're hanging anything on the wall you want to make sure you know exactly where it should be um, so he just had it up. We had a couple or he had one rod on it um, just to see how far he'd want it up. Now just taking a pencil, putting it through the holes. And then, of course, that's where you'll drill the holes. So while Josh is continuing to do that, um, I wanted to take you here to the website so you could see the Placino uh, fishing rod rack. As you can see, you can have a lot of different rods on there, uh, spinning rods, bait casting rods, uh, spin cast as well. Uh, as you can see, they can go vertical or they can go horizontal. So if you want to get two of them uh, and have a different type of setup, you can certainly do that too. That's another great thing about the versatility of this. Um, this, this innovative design they have is very sturdy. Um, you've probably seen this design for like, you know, shovels and rakes and things like that as well. Uh, but they really hold. So you can have a, a pretty heavy or sturdy rod and it's going to keep it safe and hold it still. You won't have any issues with that. And then, of course, if you want to get more than one uh, and line them up side by side, they make it very easy uh, for that to happen as well. So if you want to get two, line them up. Maybe you got 18, 20 rods or more uh, that you want to do this with. Again, not a bad price for having good organization. The other good thing is that they clearly show you step by step. So on the on this site, you can go here um, and we're walking you through this as well. But you can clearly see all the steps that you need to go through. It's fairly straightforward. I mean, it's really just marking it, making sure it's level. Um, and then putting uh, your screws and your anchors in there. Um, that's everything right there that comes in the pack uh, that you see us working with. So let's just get back to Josh putting this up. All right, now we're just drilling the holes for all of these. And what size are you using, Josh? Quarter inch. Quarter inch. And then you just put your anchors in. As you can see, this doesn't take very long. Um, got the holes drilled. And now we're ready to put the rod holder on the wall. Always a good idea to go nice and easy first. You don't want to drill one all the way in. You want to make sure they're all lined up and level and all that good stuff which is what Josh is doing. He's a pro at this. And now he's going back and tightening them up.
and it's just that easy. Put it on the wall. All right, so this is what the finished product looks like with rods and reels on there. So just as it says uh, on the packaging, we were able to put nine on there. The good thing about these is that you can put different types of rods and reels on there. What I've often found with other brands is that like if you have a lot of spinning reels uh, and rods, it's hard to put all of them on there. But on here, you can vary spinning. You can have some bait casters on there as well. We got some seven foots on there. We got some five, some six foots. Um, you have a, a variety of lengths you can use just depending on where you're putting it at, you know, in your house or in your garage. So overall, um, it's a great thing to use. It's really simple. As you can see, it's pretty neat uh, in the way things are set up. There you go. Wanted to make a quick video for you on the Placino Rod Rack. I think it's a good buy. Uh, I'm going to show you their website again one more time where you can get 30% off right now. And remember, go down to the link below in the description and you will be able to pick these up. So thank you everybody for checking out another video of your next cast. We appreciate it. Hope you have a good day and a good night. We will see you next time.